Today we're going to see how you can take a simple melody and make it more interesting by being a bit creative with it. The song is God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. First of all, let's start on F. Repeat, then up a skip and down a step. It's a pattern. We're going to lay a foundation for the playing of a scale in a different way. Instead of this, we can also play it like this. Here are some beginning steps. We'll do just four pitches. And with each one, there's a chord. This is an F chord, F-A-C. Now we're going to invert it. Put the F on top, A-C-F because that's where the scale begins. F major, first inversion, now C major, root position, and then another F chord, but this time the A is on top. It's the second inversion. Root position, first inversion, second inversion, and then we go to B flat. This is a B flat chord, B flat, D, F, but we're going to invert it. Put the B flat on top, D, F, B flat. And then we come back down. Now let's put words to it. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. One more time. F, C, C. F, F, B flat, F, C, F. Now let's listen to it again and see the notes on the screen. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Here's another way you could do it. Play left hand chords. Perhaps you've heard Mozart's Sonata in C. Mozart would take a chord like this and break it up. Bottom top, middle top, bottom top, middle top. And the same thing with the B flat chord. Bottom top, middle top, bottom top, middle top. And the C7 chord. Bottom top, middle top, bottom top, middle top. You could do the same thing with God is so good. It's good to practice it very slowly and then go twice as fast. Same thing with the B flat chord. And the C7 chord. Now look at the notes as I play it again. I'm going to add some extra sounds in the melody to make it more interesting. There are other ways
ways of making it more interesting, and that involves using more than three basic chords. This is F. Change the C to D, and you have D minor. F, D minor, G minor. Again, God is so good. Now, C major, God is so good. F major, God is so good. B flat, let's make that minor. God is so good. He's so good to me. Again, God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Now the next step would be to play in keyboard style where you add the melody to the chords, like this. That's just a bit more difficult, but you can learn to do it. Here's what happens. When you go from F to D minor, Instead of using those fingers, change to thumb, second, and fourth. So our fifth finger is available to play the A. Watch again. Now thumb, second, and fourth. Now the nearest G minor chord is here. Again. Now start the next phrase with a C chord in root position, but then change the figures from 1, 3, 5 to 1, 2, 4. Now we have F major repeated, but change fingerings to this. So your fifth finger is available. Again, slow motion. And later you'll want to break it up a bit. A question I like to ask myself and others is, what if? What if we played this as a march or a waltz or we change from major to minor? What instruments could we use to make it more exciting? How would it sound if Johann Sebastian Bach were to write it? Or Mozart? Or Franz Schubert? How would it sound if a calypso band decided to use this song. Let's explore some of these possibilities together.
Franz Schubert's another great composer. I try to imagine what he would do with a melody like this. Another person might prefer a lively, upbeat calypso style for the song. Let's take a listen to what that might sound like. As we continue the theme of dressing up a simple melody, we're going to talk about more chords and more rhythm. God is so good with a calypso beat would sound better with a clave rhythm and perhaps some maracas. Let's see what it sounds like. question was asked, what if we played it like a march? And what would it sound like if it were done to a waltz rhythm? One, two, three, one, two, three. God is so good. God is so good to me. Good to you and to me. He is good. He is always good. We have many songs that have two beats per measure, three beats, four beats, six beats. What about five beats per measure? Can you count to five? One, two, three, four, five. 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 This might make it even easier. Take a three-syllable word like basketball and then change to soccer. Basketball, soccer, basketball, soccer, basketball, soccer, basketball, soccer. Let's try singing that way. Here we go. One, two, three, four. God is so good. God is so good. can be, isn't it? Now let's be even more daring. Let's try seven beats per measure. Let's add three plus two plus two. Make seven. Take a three-syllable word like basketball and then change to soccer, soccer. Put two soccers in there. 
basketball, soccer, soccer, basketball, soccer, soccer, basketball, soccer, soccer. Let's try singing it that way. Ready? God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. In harmonizing God is so good, we started with three basic chords. F major, B flat, and C7. Then we added some minor chords. D minor, G minor, and then we use those same chords in a smoother way. Now let's observe how we can combine chords to make musical sentences. In the next one, we have a bass that leaps upward. It creates a sense of lift. And then as it comes down, there's a sense of relaxation. Next, this is the one we heard as a march, but it doesn't have to be played with an angular rhythm. It could be gentler. In closing, I'd like to share one last variation on the goodness of God and also encourage each one of us to stir up the gift we've been given. God is so good. God is very good. Loving car.